Castlevania is a beloved franchise spanning consoles and computers for decades. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a dumped prototype for the Sega Dreamcast of Castlevania Resurrection. Only one copy of this prototype has survived. A group of people have come together to release this and it is playable on an original Dreamcast. You can go to the Sega Dreamcast Info Preservation Games website and the link is below. There's a ton of information among other prototypes there and I just think it's awesome when these projects come together. Not only was this prototype saved, it was dumped and then shared with everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at this prototype and playing it on original hardware. I, there's four playable areas. There's a fifth if you emulate this prototype. And so here we go. Mark Lindsay did the music for this demo, I want to thank him. And here we go. There's four playable areas. This is the courtyard. And so there's uh, quite a bit to do in this unfinished prototype, about 25% complete, I do believe what it says on the website. And there's various enemies. Um, you know, there's some familiar ones with some new ones as well. So you're playing Sophia Belmont, uh, 1666. I do believe there's uh, some unfinished moves. There's a roll, but you can't really use it. You just stand still, but you can roll. Shows the animation. That's a totem, I do believe. Took that out. So a lot of unfinished moves, and uh, you know the camera is not the best. It's not optimized. You press Y on the controller, and you can center the camera, which is helpful. I don't miss those camera issues of the uh, early 3D games whatsoever. <laughs> there is a free roaming camera option too if you plug in a second controller. I'm not doing that on this playthrough. So here we go. Just showing just various, you know, what, what do the enemies look like? What, what was a basic level design? Pretty decent though, definitely, you know, if you're a fan of like the N64 Castlevanias, I think you would really enjoy this. I grew up with 2D Castlevania, so uh, you know 3D Castlevanias always were, to me, trying trying to trying to take and do something with a franchise that I feel uh, something's lost. And so I'm a big 2D Castlevania fan, but it's still cool to see this. All right, we're gonna try going to the stairs. You press start and this uh, like uh, debug menu pops up and then you can go right to another area. So here's the stairs, uh, look like a, a pretty decent sized level. Some wizards take, take, trying to take you out here. There is some more refined moves, uh, it goes into detail on the website about all the kind of uh, all the different gameplay mechanics that you can do. I was just kind of going around just here's what this enemy looks like, here's what this level looks like. These enemies are pretty annoying so you can get swarmed pretty easily. There is a secondary weapon options and it, it goes into detail about how those can be acquired. Finally took out one of those, holy cow. There's also like a charge. You can charge up your whip attack, I guess. Um, that would definitely be helpful. Up the stairs I go. Familiar enemy there. Yeah, playing this game, you know, it's it's hard to line up an exact hit on an enemy as the, you know, the camera is not the best. But you know, it's only about 25% done. I just wanted to show you can whip the, the flames. Just wanted to show you a little taste of uh, kind of what this game could have been. 
you know, it's, it's hard to like, you know, evaluate it. There, there's so many changes that probably would have been implemented. I think graphically it looks decent. I think, uh, I, I definitely think uh, for a 3D game, this would have sold very well in the States. You know, Castlevania is a huge franchise here and really would have been nice to see this one finalized. But hey, I'll, I'll take a playable demo, especially one that I never thought I'd be able to play. And so about, uh, you know, this is, uh, I'm running this on a Terra Onion mode on my Dreamcast. So it looks like this is the end of this level. See if I can take out a couple enemies, I'm almost dead. In fact, I'll show that for you. Probably gonna die right here. Oh. All right. On to the hall. So this is the hall. This is the probably the shortest area that I saw. I didn't fully explore it, but yeah, you can you, know, you can whip the flames and the candles and and you know get hearts and hearts is kind of like your your ammo for your special ability. You can get a dagger and a spell book. Here's some totems here. Flame is a nice graphic. I know I could have ran through these. I just wanted to show you. It's it's hard. The hit detection definitely, you know, it, it, it was a lock-on feature that was going to be implemented. Some other things. Enemies give you hearts. Really cool that this was released though. I mean, that's, that's not easy to do. So not only was a prototype uh, released, but it was updated so it's easy to run on, you know, something like the Terra Hunting mode, but on an, on an original Dreamcast. And so they, and that had to take a serious amount of effort. So thank you to all involved with that. And the website thanks those people. I like the music track. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I like I like the soundtrack, uh, at least the track uh, for this demo. So hitting the control pad, there was like some different options there, normal, and and uh, so I don't know exactly all of what those do. I'm sure it talks about it on the website, but I just wanted to show. Uh, some of that now Cor corridor is not available on this i'm playing on an original dreamcast i am going to show you the chapel uh, area but the corridor um unfortunately you can only play that on emulator so i'm just showing the four areas that i can play This level uh, ends with a boss fight. I do believe Medusa. See, I picked up or was a special secondary weapon. It's got cool lighting though. I mean, this is a this is a nice looking level. The evil wizard. Take that. You know, for being uh, not a successful console, you know, the, this, the Sega Dreamcast just keeps giving back to the community. It's, I, I, I adore this console. I think it really ended Sega on a high note. I know it didn't sell. Uh, right here, yeah, so you can drop down into lava and it doesn't kill you, obviously, that would have 
fixed that with the final version. You can just press start and you can restart uh, it again. And so I wanted to show you another part of this area. You can go up the stairs, there's enemies on both sides. Pretty cool. I like, I like the level design of this one, I like the stained glass. So there you have it. There is a ton of information about this prototype on the website. The link is below. What did you think? You know, I'm personally a fan of 2D Castlevanias, but it's really nice to see this prototype and it's playable. Oh my goodness, it's just so sweet. You know, it woulda, shoulda, coulda. You know, what, what if this was made? You know, what changes would have been made to the final version of this game? Comment below, what did you think? Uh, you know, I just think it's awesome that these prototypes get uncovered and then are shared with everybody else. I want to thank everybody for the ongoing support. I had a lot of fun sharing this game with you. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.